Okay. Okay. Rotation okay. The control point setting. See, whenever emergency is pressed, you will see this. To reset it, press here. Release it and press reset. Uh, it considers uh, emergency stop is a fault. Now you reset. That is gone. Now it is ready to start. But first we will do the setting. And whenever you are doing setting, ensure that it is stop. Go here. Control. Now there are two bands. We recommend on uh, to keep same setting here. Your Cut in is 7 bar and cut out is 8. Keep same here. 7 8. Okay, so cut out point pressure of P1, 8 bar. Yeah. Okay, and then P1 cut in point, 7 bar. This time it is configured independent. No, there is no RS2S connection. No single, no yeah. three. No. Once we will configure that, and it is connected with the master controller, it will follow. Okay. And if that uh, master controller is failed, it is not giving any signal, or the communication cable is broke, then it will go into local setting. Uh, okay. Automatically. Automatically. So, yeah, I will change this. I just want to show him uh, the setting. Our meter reading you can monitor from here after see this. So, 4000 hours. Yeah. yeah but so why 4000 hours? This will change. It is uh, factory setting as per uh, uh, like uh, European condition. Here you will have to uh, do maintenance at 2000 or 3000 hours based on our observation. 2000 hours, yeah. Based on the observation. Should we start now? Yeah. Or you want to maybe get more? Okay, so we started. Compressor number two, air compressor number two.
the basic screen you will get following information like running hour this is for the air compressor for the, the air compressor individual stations I mean. what is the model e ESM all the three are ESM 55 ESM 55 it's a 55 kilowatt motor that number showing the so this basic screen showing you uh, the total running hour hours which is worked on load and service uh, how many hours is still there to do the next service and uh, this is the sum pressure this zero zero. What do you mean some pressure? Some pressure means the oil tank. By compressor is running, there will be pressure there. This is this is showing your line pressure, eight bar. And uh, 77 is the element outlet temperature. If this temperature is to 115, 120, the compressor will tip down. Okay. And uh, uh, this is the home page. And the second one is the statistics. Uh, what are the strategy, how, what is the running hour, loading hour, other thing. And these are the hour meter you can specifically see. This is with the password we are setting this one. This is a reverse count. After, uh, like it is going back. It re uh, uh, reach zero, the service view alarm will come. This is the individual pressure band for this one. Means if that uh, uh, GD connect is cut, it will work with this pressure band. This is for individual uh, uh, timer, start, stop, but actually we are not using because it is controlled with the GD connect. And your areas I will tell you sir, uh, these are all factory configuration. There is SD card, it is recording data. Every kind of alarm it is recording. If any kind of technical issue is there, the GD will ask for the data log. So we can copy the data log from the SD card and send to them. So they can analyze what, the, what is the issue with the compressor. So your area will be here. If you want to do some uh, like uh, pressure band setting, you can set it here. It is free. You can set it. Okay. Because currently it doesn't have any role because it is controlled with the sequence. So error supply, error ports. This, error. this cannot be deleted, no? No, no. It is automatically will restore. Yes. Like after this much alarm. This is the password area. What is the password for this? This one I think for one double zero. Can you try? It's already unlocked, right? It's a setting unlocked. So how to lock it? Again. For one double One meter. Unlock the two one two one. Ah, okay. Second level showing the levels and uh, again 3100 that level is gone accessibility because uh, each code is for different level factory setting there is another code is so if i lock it they cannot able to change the setting now of the you can pressure. change with the pressure setting you can change now i'll show you uh, control it's changed but if i lock it it will not change it will not change then can we lock it now? One minute, I will check for because 3100 was the uh, our code. I will check with him and I will uh, tell you the code for the user. So you can lock that one. Now, uh, on the top, we are getting the line pressure 8.3. This is the pressure band which we have set inside 8 and 9. And this is the flow rate. 
this three are the compressor c1 is uh, uh, showing no connection because this machine is switched off now c2 we are uh, made the priority on off because due to that issue we keep it on on off condition now this c3 means this showing compressor is loading means it is producing air and this is the information button you can see the measured values pressure and the current profile you can see c1 is low priority c2 is off c3 now it's unloaded you see showing the symbol m means it's unloaded only motor is rotating after uh, after that cool down period it will go to shut down then you will get this symbol for c3 and the priority is already set current profile you can see operating hours events if there is any alarm or something is there it will recorded here for c2 for c3 which are the compressor have some fault or some alarm it is showing the static system conception line pressure and other this is a setting base regulation but for this one you need a password if you want to change because it's already set now the password is 7010 that uh, with the gd connect uh, operating manual they have mentioned all the password what is the password again 7010 that's the screen shot i will share with you okay. okay so now you can see sir i need power for this one because it is switched on okay uh, only this uh, this one we already we have done the commissioning for c2 it's done only c3 and c1 c3 is currently running running on this it is supplying a current status of the compressor two on standby and one is on low okay now the system is working properly